General Mike Flynn lied about conversations he had had, and that was a criminal offense. Hillary Clinton lied about illegally sending classified information on an illegal private email server, and that was just careless, according to the FBI. All this used to be baffling, but the recent revelations about FBI agent Peter Strzok suggest another interpretation. Supporters in the FBI were looking out for Hillary Clinton during the last campaign. Richard Goodstein advised Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign in both 08 and 16, and he joins us tonight. Um, thanks a lot, Richard, for coming on. Happy to do it. I'm not a conspiracy nut, and I actually resent the implication that our justice system is not on the level, because I think it actually has been, over time, fair, yeah. fairest in the world. But the fact that the guy at the center of the email investigation and now the Russia investigation is a partisan, and clearly he is, and he deemed Hillary's lying just a mistake and Flynn's lying a felony suggests it's not on the level and really bothers me and I would think would bother you too. Yeah. So I disagree with a couple of the premises of your, your comment. When you said about Hillary lied, mm -hmm. um, James Comey under oath said no, actually they had no basis for saying that she lied to them when she testified and when she talked about information going through her server, what she was referring to is nothing that was marked um, classified, right? And ultimately, well, there were classified well, documents marked classified. There were. Well, on, on and, sure. and and so there were three. that Comey, Comey said under oath. Right. One of which was a con, about a condolence call to the president of Malawi. Right. Right. So that's the kind of stuff. And and even and even even the um, State Department said that was actually human error that they should not have been marked classified. Okay, but let's 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 be. I mean, let's, let's be totally say. real. And I don't want to relitigate the Hillary thing. But Hillary Clinton was able to talk to the FBI, not under oath. So she faced no perjury trap in her conversations with... I don't with, know if that's true. I, well, I think it is. Yeah. And, and by the way, she did lie. She said there was no classified information on the server. There was. We can argue about whether it was significant or not. It was classified. Okay. I'm not going to defend Flynn, who I think made a huge moral error in lobbying for Turkey. But the guy just pled to a felony for lying in a conversation with FBI agents that was under oath. Yeah. So it, there's a double standard. So, so Hillary Clinton did not lie to the FBI, according to James Comey and every other piece of information we have. There is a standard, and I think your viewers need to know this, about what constitutes the possibility of a crime for what she did regarding her emails. One re needed intent. Grossly negligent is not intent. You need actual intent to disclose it. That's what David Petraeus did no, 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 with missing, his mistress. Hold on, no. and, the, and the second is espionage. And even the most addled viewer but doesn't think she did that. I'm not charging her with espionage exactly. That's why it's not or criminal. mass murder either. Exactly. I'm saying that General Flynn just pled to a felony. He can't vote, own a gun. His name is tarnished for life right. because he lied in his conversation with FBI agents. Hillary Clinton got a special deal where she was not speaking under oath to FBI agents. Who gets that deal? I've, I know a lot of people who've been interviewed by the FBI. Some have gone to jail after those conversations, and not one of them got that deal. How the hell did she get that? Let's be honest. That is unusual. You wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it. Yeah, she got it. I, I, when you're talking to a federal agent, whether you've been put under oath or not, it's still a triable offense if you lie. Okay, that's the standard from a legal standpoint. I understand you're trying to make something out of, in my respect, nothing, but the fact that she was not put under oath well, is then, frankly not relevant. Just like Strzok is not relevant. Her emails were out there. Just like Loretta Lynch is not relevant Strzok because she not, did not make the decision. So, so, that was all Comey. So Strzok is the one, apparently, and we're still filling in the blanks, but as of today, we believe that Strzok is the one who changed the language in Comey's speech that initially described Hillary's email server as, quote, gr grossly negligent, which would be a crime. No, it needs intent. Sorry. Well, but it, look, no, it, but there, look, it's you could actual. Inter hold on. No, it's not an interpretation. You could inter gross negligence can be a crime. Extreme carelessness cannot be. He changed it from a, a potentially actionable offense right. to an innocuous one. Y your viewers will believe you rather than me. I would ask any one of them to go to look at the statute, which requires specific intent, not negligence, intent to disclose information I to under, somebody else. No, I'm fully, Nobody thinks I'm that fully, by virtue of setting up her server on. the way she did, she intended no, but you're, to put it you're out You're intentionally, I think, missing my point, well. which is in the description of it, he changed it from something that you could argue is criminal to something you cannot argue is criminal. Negligence could potentially be criminal. Carelessness never is. He changed that. We know at that time he was a partisan rooting for Hillary over Trump. We also know he signed the document that initiated the Russia investigation. Why is it not a big deal? He's a partisan. Donald Trump said there's a double standard, right, in, in his tweet. I agree. The fact that Comey had his press conference at, at, on July 5th 
that was a violation of the rules. So the fact that he put out his letter uh, 11 days out, that was a violation of the rules because there were FBI rogue operators. And the fact that he didn't okay. tell the public that the Russians were, were trying to get uh, Trump elected, that was, that's the double standard that all ran You're to the benefit of get Trump. You're not going me to defend Comey under any circumstances. I'm merely going to repeat what I just said, and I really want your response to it. No. This guy, Strzok, was at the center of both investigations. Apparently, he was removed from his office because of his partisan politics. Why doesn't the Congress, which oversees, provides oversight to the FBI, have the right to see those texts? Of course they, they do. Should. I agree with you on then that. Then why in time and again are you seeing the FBI refuse to respond to Congress when its own integrity is in question? That is a cover-up. There are hundreds of requests for documents from this administration from senators and House members that have not been responded to. Okay. Yeah. But this is, first of all, this is a big one. I agree. And second, every single one should be responded to because the FBI, you, look, you're going to regret, you and all the other leftoids who are totally in favor, I'm serious, of the agencies working to overthrow the president you hate, you're going to regret encouraging them to do that. Well, I, I, I don't think any leftoid, and I take myself out of that, look, I don't think people are asking anything other than the FBI to do its job. I don't think it did its job when it was investigating Hillary or failing to disclose what they knew about Trump and the Russians last fall before the voters went to the polls. That was negligent. That oh, was the, negligent. The collusion, you mean? No, I'm just saying. Oh, the collusion that they what, just proved on Friday. What the didn't intelligence exist. community <laughs> subsequently came out with saying it's, a, uh, it's unanimous that the Russians were trying to help Trump. Yeah, that. So we'll just end on this. You agree with me that the agencies, the intel agencies, the FBI law enforcement agencies acting independently of Congress and of the White House as their own little fiefdom, they can do whatever they want, that bothers you. Yeah. Good. I agree that Good. oversight okay. is important. It's, it's terrifying. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, sure.